Welcome back. The Delhi Police has filed a charge sheet against outgoing Wrestling Federation President Bridge Bhushan Singh in the case alleging sexual harassment of female wrestlers. This comes six months after the wrestlers began protesting, demanding his arrest. The charges include assault or use of criminal force against women and stalking. Shivani Bazaar is here with the details. Well, yes, the latest in the wrestler's case against WFI Chief Bridge Bhushan Singh is that Delhi Police has filed a charge sheet uh, in the uh, FIRs uh, registered by several wrestlers. The charge sheet was filed in Delhi's Rao's Avenue Court uh, and the Delhi Police charge sheet mentions offences under various sections including 354, assault of criminal force to women with an intent to outrage her modesty, 354A, making sexually coloured remarks, 354D, stalking of IPC. This is against Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh and offences under Section 109, 354 and 354A uh, against former WFI Assistant uh, Secretary Vinod Tomar. The matter is now listed on June 22nd. Also, in another case of the minor wrestler, the Delhi Police has submitted a cancellation report in Delhi's Patiala House Court based on the victims of uh, on the statement of victim and her father. The hearing in that matter now is scheduled to be on 4th of July. Important to know that a cancellation report is filed in cases when where no corroborative evidence is found. However, it is also important to understand that the cancellation report doesn't mean that the minor's FIR has been quashed. Uh, the court will uh, sit and decide on that in the next date. Uh, in Delhi with uh, Vijay Pradeep Kumar, this is Shivani Bazaar for CNBC TV 18. After the registration of the FIR, the investigation was taken up by SIT. And subsequent to that, we have filed the charge sheet against uh, Bridge Bhushan Saran as well as uh, Vinod Tomar. The section in VOCA 354, 354A and 354D, etc. Also, ma'am, there has been a cancellation under the POXO Act uh, uh, for the minor wrestlers' uh, allegation. Can you tell us more about that? Uh, very true. There was another FIR that was registered in which we had invoked POXCO as the complainant uh, had stated that his daughter is a minor and she had also been molested. So when we took up the investigation after registration of the case, the statement of uh, both uh, the complainant as well as the alleged victim were recorded and based on those statements, we had to file the cancellation. Ma'am, uh, there are also, uh, you know, people are wondering whether or not this means that the FIR has been quashed. Can you tell us more what the cancellation report means actually? A uh, cancellation report has been filed in the court. So now court has to decide what needs to be done, whether it is uh, whether the court accepts it or not. So the further uh, act will be done by the court in both the cases. Where the charge sheet has been filed, the court will be uh, framing the charges. And in the cancellation, they will be accepting uh, our report. So, ma'am, can you also tell us on what grounds is usually the cancellation report uh, filed by the police? See, that's a, a question of law, so you can call uh, law, legal experts and uh, I can only comment on you that it was a statement of the complainant himself as well as alleged victim that was a crux in our case. All right, heavy rains and gusty winds.